everyone. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on the bone tool from Adobe Animate. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, the character that I'm going to animate and how how I made it. Okay, right. So this is the composition. Um, now the way I made it was um, using the drawing tools from Animate. You can you can use Illustrator if you want and then bring the images to animate and basically I just split up the body in different parts depending on what I'm going to animate right so I have the head the body the arms from the front the back bottom and both legs so what I need to do now is to convert every single element into a movie clip so to do that I'm going to click and drag right click and i select convert to symbol or f8 and i'm going to call this head make sure it's a movie clip right then i hit ok and now um my symbol appears on the uh, inside the library if you can't see your library just go to window library or command l then you have you have it there okay so I'm going to do the same with the body select right click convert to symbol body okay I'm going to do the same with this uh, part here convert to symbol boom okay this one here right click convert to symbol I'm going to call this back um I'm going to call this right click, convert to symbol, back, forearm, right click, convert to symbol, back, hand, hand. Just continue doing the same until you finish everything, okay? Right, um, I've already finished with uh, all my movie clips. So I've, I've created everything here, and they are they are on the stage, but we have an issue here: is that they are placed all in the same layer. We need to distribute these two layers. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm just going to select them all, right click, and distribute two layers. Okay, so now you can see that every single uh, object has been placed in a different layer okay I'm going to remove I'm going to delete the first one because I don't need it which is the original one that I had so I'm just going to delete that one and then we can continue okay so I'm going to use the bone tool in order to animate this leg here so the first thing I want to do is to make sure that I have everything together so I have the leg here, I need to go and look for the calf and just bring it down next to the leg. And then I need to bring the foot, which should be somewhere here. Shoe actually, I call it back shoe. I need to bring the front shoe, which is this one. There you go, that's the shoe here. So I'm just gonna remove this and bring this here. Okay, so I'm going to be working with this part first of all so it's going to rearrange everything i really don't need a library now at the moment so i'm just going to select this okay now i'm going to look for my bone tool which is here you can see it's a tiny bone icon or m in your keyboard i click and now uh, i need to click on the top part of the first movie clip just bring it down click again and then click again okay now this one will disappear and I'll show you in a minute what you can do there okay that's okay I hit V to select and then you can see what is happening with the selection it's not looking quite right but we can adjust all these settings later okay so you're gonna bring it back here command Z okay I'm going to remove these bones 
I select the bone and I delete it. Now what I, what I would like to do now is to bring a an object that I call it the null object. So in order to do that, I'm just going to go to window, look for the library, and I created a null object, which is it's empty at the moment. Probably do another one. Okay, I'll delete this one. So I want to do. <coughs> I can make a little circle, any color is fine, remove this and I'm going to convert this to a movie clip and I'm going to call it Null. Now it's here. So this is going to be a sort of a handler so I can um, control my entire system. Okay, So I'm going to select the bone tool again, hit M and I construct the structure again. Right. Now you can see that I can control the shoe from this part and I can actually control part of the leg. Uh, I should be able to move the leg from here too, okay? So this is actually very useful. Uh, you can see the parts here that are not working quite right, but we'll get back to that. Uh, this is something that happens very often and is quite annoying and I'll show you how to um, correct this problem, okay? Okay, so I'm going to Window, and I'm going to look for the Property tab, which should be here. And I'm going to close this. And if I select this bone here, this null object, select this bone here. Okay, now you can see uh, on this uh, Property tab that we've got we got a number of items that we can work around. Okay, so we have this joint rotation, which is enabled, but you can see that there is a constraint uh, box here. So I'm going to tick on this one, and uh, you can see that it just sort of uh, give us two different numbers here that um, help us to control our animation. Okay, so. So far, this is on 46, minus 46, and 44. So what is happening is that I can't really go beyond this one. Okay, so I'm select. I'm on this bone, <coughs> and you can see this little angle here, right? So this, these are the the angles that um, are constrained at the moment. I can just go and type here, like I don't know, some crazy numbers. And then you can see what is happening. Okay. My food is actually rotating any way I want, which is not really what I want. I should limit this probably to 25 and 25. So I'm just going to select this, select the bone here, and I'm going to limit this to minus, um, probably minus 15 and minus 15. Okay, so now if you click and drag upwards, you can see that the animation, you can see that the shoe is not moving uh, as freely as before. I'm going to select this again and see uh, the constraint is actually 3. I'm going to make it 12, 15, and 15. Okay, that should do the, the job. Okay. Okay, now I want to do the same with this one, which is uh, it's exactly the same method. So the leg should, probably the leg could go up this way, and at the back probably this way, right? So I'm working on this one. So I'm just going to place it here, somewhere around here. It depends on your character, really, but mine is not very flexible. So I'm going to select this bone again. A joint uh, rotation uh, constraint and then I'm going to have a look at the angle that is showing okay so let's have a look so you see we'll stop here if uh, when the leg goes up and it will stop here which is I think it should stop somewhere here right so I'm going to play around with these settings and see what is happening there you go mm, okay probably needs more and on the top 
I'm just going to limit this to 0, 0 and 160. Let's keep it even. Okay, so I'm going to select this bone again. Have a look. Okay, so the leg will stop here. And if I move, move to the back, it will stop somewhere there. I can adjust that later if I need, but so far I think it should be looking good. Okay, it stops there. And now if I go up, it just stops here. Okay. Uh, you can see the problem that we are having with the knee, which uh, we'll fix now, okay? Right, so I'm going to get this leg um, straight, somewhere here, and here. And now, um, there's something that I can do. Um, I need to replace or relocate, sorry, everything into into these movie clips. So you see that this the calf and the shoe are just quite off place. So I'm just going to select this clip, hit Q so I can move this part. Okay. I might actually need to rotate this a little bit. So I'm going to rotate this from here. I can use the arrow keys to mm, move it. Okay, um, seems to be okay. Now I want to do the same with this shoe. Uh, remember, hit Q, select the shoe, hit Q, and when you have this uh, box here, you can play around with that. Now you can see that the shoe has gone um, to, to the front, so I need to send it backwards. I'm going to move this null object too. Okay, so uh, in order to do that, I'm just going to modify, select, select the shoe, modify, range, and then send backwards. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, that looks fine, but we still need to work on um, this uh, knee. Okay, so I'm going to hit V to get my selection tool, and I'm going to select this bone, which is the, the one that controls the knee, and uh, I'm going to properties, Select it, and again, I have joint rotation constraint, and I'm going to have a look here. Um, I suppose the leg shouldn't move beyond this point, otherwise uh, it will break. So this is the first thing that I'm going to fix. So I'm going to left offset, and I'm going to hit this to zero. Okay. So this leg should not should not move beyond this point. Okay, so I'm moving this, and this is just stopping there, which is is quite nice actually. Right, good. Now the back is stopping there. You can see. I'm going to select this again. Let's have a look. There you go. It's stopping there. So I need to sort of widen this angle somewhat. So I'm going to. The right offset, I think, I believe is this one, yeah. And then you can see what is happening. I'm sorry, okay. So it's probably too much, but I'm just going to bring it down to 100 and then see um, what's happening. So I select this here and it's moving this way and it just stopped the still too much okay so i'm just going to select this bone and i'm going to bring it down to probably let's make it 50. again my character is not very elastic but if you are animating something like a you know a gymnastics or someone very elastic you can just play around with these settings um okay there you go. So I'm, I'm quite happy with this, to be honest. Um, you can see that there are some problems here. Like, say, when, I, when I'm in this position, there's some something that is not quite right here. Um, here is look, it's looking fine. Here there's a problem. We can just sort this out as we animate. Um, okay, we can just keyframe and fix those positions. But for now, I'm quite happy with this. Okay, one last thing that I would like to do. 
uh, and I could actually do a little bit later, but I want to show you now, is um, you don't want to show this green ball uh, when, you, when you play your movie. So what you can do, simply double click, so now you're inside your movie clip, okay? You're inside this uh, movie clip called No. Um, I'm going to select this and I'm going to change the color, the field color. So I'm just going to click here and I'm going to select uh, No Color, which should be somewhere here, right? And what happens is that my object is still there, but it's, it's just not visible, but I can still manipulate it, okay? So you won't, you won't see it when you are animating. Okay, so this is what I've done with my character so far. Oh, basically, I just uh, adjust and uh, use all the bones inside. There are some problems that I need, need to fix, but that's pretty much the process that we have to follow. Okay, right, so it's all constrained to. Okay, and I've done the same for the arms. And actually, I included some sort of animation in the hands too. Okay, right. So I am ready to animate now. So before I do that, um, I, I want to clean up a little bit my uh, timeline. Now you can see that the when when we put the bone system, uh, animate creates a, a layer called armature. In this case, armature three. So I'm just going to call this um, front leg, okay? And what's interesting here is that you don't need these elements anymore. So front leg is this one. You can see that I can hide it and show it. But there's also this leg, this calf, and this shoe that I don't need anymore. So I'm just going to select these three and then delete, okay? Great, so I have this um, file now with the elements. You can see this uh, crappy drawing that I had with the, the sketch of the character that I wanted to, to animate. So if you don't want to see that, you can just basically select this. And if you, if you make it guide, it won't show in your, in your animation, okay? So right click hit guide and it won't show for now I'm just going to hide this one I'm going to hide this one at the bottom I'm going to hide this background and I'll show you the structure of this uh, timeline so I have the front arm okay I have the front leg uh, I've got the bottom I've got the head body uh, the back leg and the back arm and that's it you can include any other element uh, in the background like uh, you know the ground or trees or mountains whatever you want to include but for now we're going to focus on this okay so what i need to do really is start playing with these keyframes and finding the right position for every single uh keyframe okay so we'll start doing that now Right, um, what I like to do is to bring a, a little paper that I have, which is from Preston Blair, and it will be my guide for the animation step. So I'm going to file, I'm going to import to a stage my paper, which is this one. Okay, I'm going to hit Q to make it bigger and uh, this is the part that I want to animate this example here so basically this is pretty much the same for every single step uh, the process is very simple I'm going to go to my first layer and I'm going to place my character in this position okay sorry this one here this is the one I want to do. so I need to make sure that my character looks like this one okay so, okay make sure you press B otherwise you will move the items and we don't want that, that we don't want that the way so I'm just going to move this one straight get the null object place it here 
and then I'm going to get the back one, the back leg, which is something similar. I'm just going to make it this way, okay? Something like this. I'm going to get the arm, so the front one, this, this is almost ready here, okay? And I'm going to get the back one. Just do the modifications that you need, okay? Right, um, then I think I can just animate the second layer, okay? So to do that, I'm just going to go to my timeline, line here, click on the first one, just go down here, shift, and uh, click, okay? I do right click, and I'm going to insert a keyframe. And basically, my character is all the same. I, I can just move around this uh, element. I, I can see the animation happening, but you can see there are some annoying problems there. So I can fix that quite easily. I'm just going to frame two, and I'm going to fix the one in the front leg, which is this one. Okay. So I select this uh, keyframe, and I'm going to fix the problem. So. I'm going to, this part is not looking okay, so I'm going to select this movie clip, I hit Q, make sure that I'm selecting only this uh, movie clip, and I'm just moving this around carefully, I also need to move the shoe, there you go, now I'm going to move this leg here, and I'm going to select the shoe too, I'm going to do one by one, so it's easier for you to see, I'm going to move this here, and I'm going to move this here. Okay, so now I can see the animation looking a little bit better. Frame one has a problem too. Just gonna move this one and then see what happens. Okay, uh, sometimes you need to draw inside maybe to fill up some uh, gaps with color and uh, even the outline. So that's quite easy to do. Just go to the frame that you need to work on. Let's say I'm just going to work on this one. You double click and now you can actually paint more if you want, okay? But be careful because that would be visible. So I'm just going to make it this way so you can see how it works. So I'm just going to hit B, double click, and I'm on my timeline again. And then you can see what is happening, okay? So sometimes you need to do this quite often actually. <clears throat> so I'm going to erase this now. So I'm going to see what's happening. See, I just made a little mistake there. Okay. Good, so that's pretty much what you have to do. I'm going to remove this uh, paper here, this guide. Basically you need to continue this uh, until you get all the frames and all the animation running. Okay. Uh, I modified the characters I needed. I had to spend quite a lot of time doing this but then you can see the result. You press enter and then you see the character moving quite smoothly. Still needs a lot of work, but that's, that's the idea. Uh, an important thing here that you should be careful with is that the bottom, the head, and the body also move. Okay, uh, that's pretty much uh, all for now. If you have any question, just uh, let me know. Thank you very much.